What's going on guys? This is Tyler, pharmacist with Pharmacy Update. And today I want to cover the newest shingles vaccine, Shingrix. And this was brought to the market in 2017 and has been very popular. It has been difficult to even keep in the pharmacy. So if you or someone you know is thinking about getting this vaccine, this information may be helpful to you. I'm going to cover some general information on Shingrix, how effective it is in preventing the shingles, side effects of the shot, and at the end of the video, I will talk about people who should maybe wait to get the vaccine. So let's get into it. So Shingrix is recommended for healthy adults over the age of 50 years to prevent shingles and its complications. And I've never had the shingles myself, but from stories I have heard, the pain is quite severe, so this is something you're going to want to prevent. And you can receive this vaccine even if you've already had the shingles. If you receive Zostavax, the older shingles vaccine, and even if you're not sure if you've had the chickenpox before, you can still get this vaccine. Um, and it is estimated that 99% of people over the age of 40 have the chickenpox virus. Something that seems to not be as well known as it should be, you have to get two doses of the vaccine to get the full effect. Um, some people I have told this seem surprised. And you'll want to get this second shot two to six months after the first one. If it has been over six months, really, the only recommendation I have found is to get it as soon as possible. Do not start over. The shot is given in the muscle, which is different than Zostavax. And I did actually read where some health professionals may have mistakenly given it the wrong way um, because of Zostavax. They're used to that. So just make sure you're getting it in your muscle like you would for a flu vaccine. And then obviously, if you're allergic to Shingrix or any of the ingredients in it, do not get the shot. So how effective is it in preventing the shingles? Uh, well, I would personally say that it is very effective. It's found to be 97% effective for adults over the age of 50, and then 89.8% .8 effective for those 70 years and older. And especially when you compare it to things like the flu shot, which so far this year is around 46% effective, it does do a nice job. Um, also, Zostavax, the older vaccine, it was only around 51% effective at preventing the shingles. So this shot does do a great job. So yes, you can still get the shingles if you get the vaccine, but you greatly reduce your chances. And there was a study published last year, which I'll leave a link below if you want to check that out. And it found that even if you do get the shingles after getting the vaccine, your pain can be reduced. And they found, compared to those who hadn't got the vaccine, Shingrix reduced the worst pain score and the average pain score for those that did get breakthrough cases. So that's another positive thing. Now for the not-so-positive thing about the vaccine, and that is side effects. And these can be pretty severe. Um, so these are what they found during the clinical trials. Local pain at the injection site, 88% of people had this. Then also redness and swelling at the injection site. Myalgia or muscle pain for 56% of people. 57% had fatigue. Um, half of people developed a headache after getting the vaccine. And then some less common ones, but they're still pretty high percentage wise. Uh, shivering, fever, and gastrointestinal side effects, such as an upset stomach. Now, the good thing about these side effects is that they will normally go away after two to three days, but about one in six people will get side effects so bad that they cannot perform regular activities. And the side effects are more pronounced in younger populations. So you kind of just have to pick your poison, so to speak. Do you want to deal with these side effects or risk getting the shingles? That's kind of the question you have to ask yourself. And now my final topic, who should wait to get Shingrix? And this is the recommendations from the CDC. So if you currently have the shingles, you will want to wait. And you're going to want to wait at least until the rash clears up. And maybe even just a week or two after, just to be safe. If you are currently pregnant or breastfeeding, they recommend you wait. If you have an illness that you would classify as moderate to severe, you will want to wait until you get better. Especially if you have a fever of around... 101.3 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, if you just have a minor cold or something that really isn't that serious, you can go ahead and get the shot. It's really just up to you. 
And finally, if you receive Zostavax before, you will want to wait at least eight weeks before you get Shingrix. And I will post a link below to the full CDC informational site on Shingrix vaccine if you want to take a look at that. So that's all I have for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel for the latest pharmacy and medical updates. I will also post videos such as this covering drugs and vaccines. Please comment below for any questions or concerns, or you can always speak to your doctor or pharmacist. So thank you guys again, and have a nice day.